hey guys, ions can be really confusing. Do they lose electrons? Do they gain electrons? Does that make them positive? Does that make them negative? Here are a few examples for you. And if you like this video and want to get more examples, then you can go and get my book, which is Math, the Chemistry Bits for Science Students. Now you can get this as a book format, as a video format, or you can get it over my classroom channel. Here is beryllium. It has three protons that have a positive charge and three electrons which have a negative charge. And when it has three of each, it doesn't have any overall charge. But when um, beryllium does bonding, what happens is that this little electron here goes away. Now, beryllium no longer has three electrons because we've got rid of this electron it only has two electrons left over which means beryllium is going to have a positive charge it is going to make a positive ion because if we look down here these cancel out these cancel out but there is still this one leftover positive charge which means beryllium is going to form a plus one ion Here we have hydrogen. It has one proton and one electron. And when hydrogen bonds, what it does is it loses that electron. So now hydrogen no longer has this electron. It just has a positive charge. So it's going to form H plus ions because it's lost the electron. It's going to form a positive charge. I know this feels like it's the wrong way around, but honestly, this is the way it is. Here we have sulfur. It has lots of protons and electrons, but in the atom, they cancel each other out. Now you see that sulfur only has six electrons on its outer shell, and it has a space for two more in here. So let's just pop those in. So we've added two electrons, so we have to add two down here as well. Now we can see that there is now an uneven number of protons and electrons. It has two more electrons than it does protons, so it now has a two minus charge. Here we have bromine. For bromine to get a full outer shell, because it's really just the outer shell we're interested in, we need to add in another electron. Now adding in electrons means we are gaining negative charges. So bromine forms a one minus ion. If you like this video but still want to see more examples, you can get my book, Maths and Chemistry Bits for Science Students. You can get it over on my classroom, you can get the video version, or you can download the ebook from my website.